Hey guys, in this video we're going to create animation notify that will allow us to execute action before the montage is actually finished playing. And let me show you what I mean by that. So if I open one of these animations we have set up for equipping weapons, you can see your character is executing action here, in this case he's equipping weapon. But then these last few frames you're not really doing anything, he's just kind of playing idle and he's getting into position. And usually you have this on all of the animations. But if you want to have a nice and fluid game, what you want to do is you want to shave off these last few frames. So let's say I will set up animation notify somewhere here. And it will tell me that character is finished with this um, drawing weapon. And can execute different actions. So here I could already be going into attacking or dodging or blocking and so on. So... Before we set up animation notify, just a side note, I am visiting my family for a holiday, so my computer is not the best at the moment. I have reduced some effects, as you can see, and my frame rate is a little bit low, but don't worry, I'll make it work as it is. So, first thing, let's just go to third person, blueprints, and in here I'm going to create a new folder, and we will keep anim notifies here. Notice not notifies and this will be for actual animation notifies but also notify states and the difference between them is this basically is animation notify which tells you the starting point when something needs to happen and notify states have a starting point and ending point so you can execute something in between like a line trace for example so what we want to do is here we're going to right click create blueprint blueprint class in all classes, search for anim notify, select, and this will be can execute action underscore an for animation notify. Just open it up, but we're not going to change anything just yet. We need to set up some things in the player. So let's open player blueprint and in the event graph. We now want to have a, a way of actually turning off the current action when we call that notify. But the problem is we need to know which action we are currently executing because we want to use this notify on all of the montages. As I said, for attacking or dodging or blocking on any other actions that we will have later. So, at the moment, if you get a gameplay tax, and try to remove gameplay tag, you can only remove one gameplay tag. So here I can only select go to character actions and select blocking, but if I want to remove all of the actions, you can only select one. So only way to actually remove all of the actions that we might be currently doing, you would have to like remove gameplay tag one by one, which is really not feasible because we will have like 20 different actions. So. Instead of that, we're going to set up current action that is being executed because we can only execute one at a time. And then we're also going to create function that will remove that current action. So in the functions, create new one. This will be set current action tag. And we're also going to create variable, which will be current action tag. And this will be type gameplay tag, not the container, just a single gameplay tag. And first thing, before we set a new one, we need to get the current action tag and we need to remove it from gameplay tags. So get gameplay tags, remove tag, and remove current action. So if we are in the process of changing weapon, we call that animation notify and it will set sorry not not when we call it but when we basically changing the action we will call this set current action tag tag and we will remove the action that we were executing before like drinking potion for example or something and we will add a new one so first we remove it then we set current action tag we need to drag it into input and then we want to also add it to the gameplay tag container. So get the gameplay tags again, and we're going to add gameplay tag, and it will be this one. So this function is basically working as when we're just adding action, but instead we're also saving it in the variable. 
So compile and save. And then to go with this function, we also want to create one more that will remove current action tag. And here we don't need inputs or out outputs. Only thing you need to do here is get gameplay tags, remove gameplay tag, and it will be current action we are removing. So this will be the function that we will call when notify happens. So it will just remove current action tag and then we can execute different action. And one more thing we can actually do here, we can just set it to empty. So set the current action tag to nothing. And now to use it, uh, we need uh, from the anime not anim notify, we need to call some kind of event that will actually uh, reset it. But we want to be able to use it in the player and in the enemy as well. So we will do it with the blueprint interface. So go to interfaces, open combat BPI. Here add function. And this will be enable action. Again, don't need any inputs or outputs, but we will change the category to combat. So we don't mix these functions from the combat BPI with interact BPI. And now in the player, we can go to interfaces. You got combat category here and double click on enable action. Move it somewhere here. And then when we want to enable action, we're going to remove current action tag. And also to add current action tag, instead of here when we're just adding gameplay tag, we're going to use set current action tag. And as you can see, this will be much easier because we don't need to get gameplay tags all the time. We can just do the same thing, which is changing weapons here. Character actions, changing weapons. And replace it. So replace it here, copy it. And I think we have it two more times. So add gameplay tag, remove it and replace it with this one. That is when we're equipping and unequipping weapon. And also when we're changing weapon, we have one of these. So paste it here. I'm also going to remove this print string. Compile and save. And now, as I said, when we call that animation notify, we will just remove the current action tag, which will be changing weapons, and then we can execute something else. In this play unequip weapon montage macro and play equip weapon montage macro is one we need to remove this thing now. We won't be doing it when the montage completes, but rather when we actually set the animation notify. So remove this part, go to unequip one, also remove it. And now we just need to set up the animation notifies on the montages. So go to third person animations, equip weapons, open the first one. And now, so as you can see here, he pulls out the bow. This is what I call dead frames because nothing really happens there. I already want to attack, make it nice smooth combat. So I'm going to right click, add notify, can execute action. Second one, pulls out the bow. And here I want to can execute action. This one. This one is pretty much almost at the end anyway. So here can execute action. Put it away is also at the end. So just right click. Uh, if this window pops up, that means your order notify is being selected because there is not much space. Uh, what you can do is just add notify track and just click next to it. Then you will be able to add new one. So can execute action. This one is, you can see he pulls out the weapon and here I already want to be like swinging that sword. So I'm going to add notify can execute action. This one unequip is at the end again. Can execute, whoop, wrong one. Uh, 
here. I'll notify can execute action. And two more. So this is 200 equip. That's pretty much at the end. So I need to move it. And the last one is unequip, which is again already here. I'll notify can execute action. Save all. And now one more thing we need to think about, which I mentioned in the previous video. If you have this blend out trigger time minus one second, then some of these montages in the end won't execute. So you need to be careful about that. What I'm going to do just I'm going to change it on all montages to zero. We can later set it so it will be like blending in and blending out nicely if some of the animations are a bit snappy. But it will be better if our montages are montage notifiers are working correctly. So I'm just going to change it zero 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 and this one zero as well. Now we have it all set up. We don't really have a different actions that we can see, but if I were to set this as a quick slot and set this as a quick slot and then equip bow and just spam equipping button, I can't do it until the actual notify and I can't even do it after. Something I have set up wrong. Was that bow unequip? Can execute action is here. All right, have we not? Yeah, okay, my bad. So in can execute action, we obviously need to call the event that will enable action. So in the functions, go to override, receive notify. So when the notify is received, and then we will get from mesh comp, we can get owner. So if this montage with the notify is being played on the player skeleton, the owner will be a player. If it's being played on an enemy, the owner is enemy. So this will be our reference. And from the reference, we can just set enable action message, which is from the combat BPI. And that will tell whoever, whoever is the owner to enable action. And we can set the return value to true because this was executed correctly, even though it shouldn't do anything. So compile and save. And now basically just to recap, after montage is almost over, we will call can execute action from the can execute action. We will send a message to either player or an enemy or anyone with the combat BPI. And then in the player itself, we have set up to enable action, which will remove the current action tag, which in this case is changing weapons, which we have set when we start changing the weapons or equipping weapons. So now when I again don't mind my letters, as you can see, I have changed the font and I didn't copy it over. So it's just gibberish. But if I equip these two, don't even need to just bow and then I'm mashing T as you can see nothing happens until that notify hits and then I can execute different actions so I put the bow away so it will be much faster and later on when we got action as soon as I get to this point maybe I can start attacking my bow or I can start rolling and I don't have to wait those last few dead frames until I can execute something so that is how we use it and now best thing to test it out would be we do have a function or event set up for drinking potion. So potion drinking, I have put it away in the notes, but you probably still have it in the event graph if you didn't clean it up. And it's this event drinking potion. And here we can replace this is drinking potion with an action. So select the gameplay tags. In here, we're going to under actions, click next to it, add sub tag, and this will be uh, drinking potion. Drinking potion, add new tag, and then here, instead of is drinking potions, we're going to use that macro can execute action, which checks if any other action is being executed. 
anything at all. And if it's not, this needs to be now on true. This we don't need. We will instead set current action tag to character actions drinking potion. Character actions drinking potion. I'm going to move this all up. Actually, it's, it's messy everywhere. So if we can drink it, we will start drinking it. And set movement speed spawn actor, actor to component. Here we don't want to, after montage, again, we don't want to do this on completed because if we can execute action and we execute different action, this montage won't actually complete. That way we wouldn't destroy the potion bottle in our hand. So instead, this we need to do on completed or on blend out or on interrupted. So any of these things happen, we, can, we still want to destroy the potion bottle in the hand. And then after we go into here, uh, actually, we don't need to do this part because we are doing it. We will do it with the montage notify. So this one will disconnect and this one continues here and this one continues here. To set movement speed, remove item. And here, this is the same. So now only thing we need to add is in the drinking montage, open it up. And maybe here. I don't want to play the whole montage, maybe here. Just shave off the last, I don't know how many frames. I'm going to add notify, can execute action. And save it, save all. And now, I can also remove this drinking potion variable. So one less variable here, because we're not using it anywhere. And if I actually, I don't have any potions. So let me just create some. Gonna drag this and change it to health potion. It's in the ground, it's going to fly around. Just create a few of them. And now basically we shouldn't be able to drink potions while we're equipping weapons or equipping weapons while we're drinking potion. So set quick slots and set weapon. Weapon I can actually equip. And now let me start equipping weapons and I'm mashing one on the keyboard. I can't drink it until I pull out the weapon. If I'm drinking potion, I can't hide weapon. I'm mashing T until I finish drinking potion and then I can unequip or equip. So now, as you can see, this is very powerful tool with gameplay tags to enable actions or disable actions. So we can only be executing one, one at a time. Right? And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.